this is we take one of the cigars. Yes. To complete one uh, handmade cigar, premium Havana cigar, yeah. takes I? nearly uh, three years. Three years? Three years. So this cigar from the beginning to the final, some of them are 10 years old. This cigar to produce, you need totally six leaves because they use the rare cigar from the top called Medio Tiempo. Medio Tiempo, it's the two last leaves on the top of the plant. Mm. So this cigar required six whole leaves to produce one cigar. Other manufacturer in, uh, in Asia, mm -hmm. yeah? still can uh, import the Cuban leaf, cigar leaf, that's and they roll. It's no, not true? No, 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 that's not true. It can be any other areas of Caribbean, but not Cuban. But in Vietnam, yeah, sometimes I, I, I can see uh, Kohi bar everywhere, yeah, everyone can smoke Kohi bar, yeah. I, mm. it, I, I think it's, it's fake. Do you think? Yeah. Yes, especially on the Hanoi, from my experience, I saw many, many fakes of Cohiba. Cohiba is the 98% of available Cohiba on the market. 98%? Is, yeah, so, is fake. Đây, anh, anh quay phim, anh quay uh, rõ thật là kỹ cái, cái tem này này. Đấy, để cho quý vị khán giả có thể hình dung nhé, là chúng ta mua xì gà thì luôn luôn phải check là xem là có cái tem này hay không. Xin chào quý vị và các bạn đã quay trở lại với nhà to Vâng và chủ đề ngày hôm nay các bạn hãy đoán đi Thì những khung cảnh ở ngay phía sau lưng Hoàng Đức đây Chúng ta sẽ làm về xì gà Vâng một chủ đề đã được yêu cầu rất là nhiều Rất là nhiều ở trên nhà to Và trong uh, chắc là phải hơn 3 năm rồi Thì tôi mới lại làm lại một cái tập về xì gà đúng không ạ Những cái tập lần trước thì cũng đã được rất nhiều quý vị khán giả yêu thích những ai đã theo dõi nhà to từ lâu rồi thì chắc hẳn là chúng ta sẽ không thể nào quên được đúng không ạ? Và hôm nay Hoàng Đức sẽ lại tiếp tục uh, cùng với quý vị khán giả nhà to chúng ta sẽ khám phá về chủ đề xì gà Tôi biết đây là một chủ đề mà được rất nhiều quý vị khán giả yêu thích Bởi vì uh, trong những năm gần đây ở Việt Nam chúng ta thì xì gà luôn là một uh, có thể gọi là một cái thú chơi mà được rất nhiều các quý vị anh chị uh, yêu thích tìm hiểu cũng như là muốn tận hưởng và hiểu hết về cái thú chơi này thực sự là nó cũng giống như rượu vang nó sẽ có rất nhiều rất nhiều những cái điều chi tiết tỉ mỉ ở phía sau mà chúng ta sẽ muốn khám phá và ngày hôm nay thì Hoàng Đức sẽ dẫn quý vị và các bạn tới với một cái store về xì gà lớn nhất tại Việt Nam hiện tại và đây là một cái store chính hãng xì gà Cuba và tất cả các loại xì gà ở trong này đều là xì gà Cuba và chúng ta sẽ cùng gặp gỡ uh, một nhân vật theo tôi nghĩ là cũng rất là đặc biệt đấy là một uh, master về xì uh, gà và uh, được đào tạo rất là chuyên nghiệp về xì gà và chúng ta hãy cùng với Hoàng Đức chúng ta sẽ cùng khám phá chi tiết tập ngày hôm nay nhé xin mời các bạn hello hello hi uh, welcome yeah. please vâng xin giới thiệu với quý vị và các bạn đây là Daria. Daria. Yeah, Daria là một Siga uh, Master yeah, uh, tới từ uh, Ukraine, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, okay. I think you you should uh, introduce yourself before we starting. Yeah, it's okay. sure. <laughs> Nice to meet you. My name is Daria. I am Havana's master, graduated from Havana's Academy, Havana, Cuba. I'm originally from Ukraine, but half of my life I dedicated to cigar uh, passion and long time I already live in Vietnam, yeah. uh, almost nine years. Yeah. So I'm sharing my passion for educating people uh, about knowledge of cigars. Yeah, vâng. hôm nay thì uh, bạn uh, Daria sẽ, 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 sẽ giúp cho chúng ta hiểu rõ hơn về xì gà thì đây là uh, không phải chỉ là một người chơi xì gà nữa mà đây là một người đã được đào tạo và bạn ấy đã được học tất cả từ việc là lấy lá như thế nào cuốn như thế nào rồi thưởng thức xì gà ra làm sao vâng và hôm nay thì tôi sẽ muốn nhờ bạn Daria sẽ chỉ cho chúng ta một vài những cái chi tiết hơn trong cái thú chơi này 
Wow. Wow. Okay, let's go. We uh, yeah. So please Can let you, me show uh, you around. Help me discover your place in here. So uh, we are house of Cuban cigars. Yes. That's what means La Casa de Havana. So here we introduce only Cuban cigars. So Habanos have total 27 brands. Yeah. So over here we introduced almost 21 brands. 21 brand here. Available yeah. with over 250 different SKUs, different uh, products, items. Yeah. So you can have different cigars from uh, casual cigars up to very, very special collectible and rare cigars. Mm. Introduction between cigar accessories, of course, to complete the experience of cigars, how to take care, because the storage is very important. One of the critical point for cigars is to store them properly. Mm -hmm. How you store cigar, it can affect the final taste and the quality as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's the similar with the wine. Wine. Yeah. It has a specific uh, temperature control in the walking humidor. humidor yeah. Always nearly 18 degrees Celsius mm -hmm. and uh, 65 to 70 percent humidity. Relevant yeah. humidity, always. Can you uh, tell me uh, more detail about how they uh, produce a cigar stick? Yeah. Cigar stick. It's owned by handmade or so, uh, by for machine? For example, this is we take one of the cigars. Yes. To complete one uh, handmade cigar, premium Havana cigar, yeah. it takes I? nearly uh, three years to make one single stick. Three years? Three years. From seed to the final cigar resting in the box because this one takes time to plant to grow to harvest then you go to the curing process then you are going to the fermentation process and then you are going to the aging aging is very important for cigar as as longer you age mm -hmm. as better it becomes yeah so you have some of the line anihados which is uh, aged nearly eight years in the box so this cigar from the beginning to the final some of them are 10 years old yeah so how we how can we know about the age of a uh, cigar box like you have that? to ask the, the team the staff when you are having a box you can turn it and you have a manufacturing date and you have also the release date for special uh -huh. cigars. So uh, with the official cigar, it always have the uh, date? Yes, yeah. I can show you on the box. For example, yeah. we have yeah. here show me, one please. of the very special boxes we have, Kohiba Bihiki. Yeah. So this is usually, uh, it comes in the outer box. So you always have Habano Sasei, made in Cuba, yeah. totally handmade. Yeah. So that's one of the uh, rare cigars, we call them. Because to produce this cigar, you required uh, six leaves. Six Usually leaves. it takes nearly four to five. This cigar to produce, you need totally six leaves because they use the rare cigar from the top called Medio Tiempo. Yeah. Medio Tiempo, it's the two last leaves on the top of the plant. Mm. So this cigar required six whole leaves, long filler leaves, to produce one cigar. Mm. So how many kai of leaf need to produce a cigar? You can, have can different, different strands of the leaf. I'm explaining that you have a tobacco plant with different levels. And every level has its different strand and different purpose. As well, you take from the bottom, from the center, and from the upper part of the plant. So between four to six leaves to mm -hmm. make one complete cigar. Yeah. And you need uh, for Bihiki, rare Cohiba cigars, you need total six leaves. That's the maximum in Cuban cigar they use. Yeah. And uh, how, uh, how long they need to... Uh, to, to age. Uh, yeah. To age. age. Uh, Bihiki or... Yeah. Bihiki takes uh, as I said, three years minimum to age. Minimum is Because three you years. have one year for the harvesting and minimum for the uh, strongest leaf, Ligero and Medio Tiempo, takes minimum two years 
to age them. Yeah. To that's why it's uh, always really expensive and really yeah. rare. That's, yeah. that's true. So, for example, a famous Cohiba brand. Yeah. We are talking about this iconic brand. Yes. It has a. Uh, it, it's not one of the oldest. We have some of the oldest brands like H. Oppmann, Punch, uh, Partagas. That's one of the oldest Cuban brands. Mm -hmm. But this brand, it has a very le legendary owner. Yes, it, and I think in in Vietnam, the uh, uh, the most. Uh, People want to uh, want yeah, to smoke Cohiba because of its prestigious name. Yeah, it's more about exclusivity and more prestige, and also secret third fermentation for all Cohiba leaves that's made them very special and very popular between cigar smokers because they are super smooth. We call them extra smooth yes. because of third secret fermentation in Lagoito factory. Yeah, but I think produce. after after that we sh we should try and uh, to show uh, so something. So, for to, uh, example, I would like yeah. you to try a different cigars. So we have some small cigars for the morning. Yeah. For the coffee we call uh, the cigar half corona. Yeah. So that's a small format cigar, which you can enjoy it in the morning with your coffee, and you have another one. Uh, for example, we take. Uh, Cohiba, Cohiba yeah. Exquisitos. So, okay. it to happen. So, this cigar is a, a medium to full body, so it's more for advanced cigar smokers. Mm -hmm. But it's still very nice size format cigar. Yeah. So, and every cigar depends on the size also, uh, varies uh, different time of enjoyment. So the different time to enjoy depend on the ring gauge, depend on the land, and depend uh, on the format. Mm -hmm. So you have beautiful and unique double figurado cigars. So you have a straight cigar, and you have also the uh, different shape cigars. Yeah. So one of them like this. What different between uh, other shape? Other shape, it's uh, how will be the sensational of the smoke during mm -hmm. the smoke going through the body of the cigar different kind of uh, caps gives you different uh, feeling in the end and yeah. how the whole experience of, of uh, draw of the smoke of cigar will go through through it mm. so that's also matters yeah. and for example so, yeah. one of this it's a limited edition yeah. Limited I, edition, it yeah, has I, I extra tried, aging. I have tried this thick and yeah, I really love this. But Ramon Ionis, it's a full body cigar. Yeah. So it's more limited. for advanced smokers. And limited edition is mostly for collectors. Because uh, to, to know what's the difference between special and normal premium cigars, you need to try and you need to develop your palate. So if you don't have anything before to compare, so you will not appreciate the beauty of this cigar. So for example, one of these uh, special cigars also, it's produced only wow. 10,000 boxes around the world, that's it. So it's uh, discontinuous cigars. So this cigar is quite rare and it's beautiful, Trinidad. It comes in the uh, Humidor book, special packaging also yeah. and you have one of the la latest and the special collection of uh, Romeo, Romeo Julieta yeah Romeo Julieta or Romeo Julieta so I would like you to try this cigar yeah. as well so that's a medium strength cigar and you have some uh, light body cigar in that section we call uh, Hoyo de Monterey which uh, mostly for people who doesn't like strong flavor cigar yes. doesn't mean it's not tasty it means it's less intensity of nicotine and they're less spicy mm -hmm. so l less strength but they are very very well production of cigars one of the most popular mm -hmm. with full fermentation aging process and one important thing i forgot to mention to make one complete cigar yeah takes 539 manual steps really yep 
Oh, okay. <laughs> That's true. So it means it's totally handmade. So yeah. if we take any of our boxes, sorry about half warning, but that's uh, the regulation. So you have yeah. manufacturing date here. Oh. It means November 2007. Yeah. That's how old the cigar. Yeah. And before it's made, it has a 539 manual steps involved. So every cigar you see, it's a Habano Sase, made in Cuba from the Pacific areas in Cuba to be allowed to grow Habano cigar. Mm -hmm. So produced from beginning to the end, fully handmade. Mm -hmm. in, in Cuba, I, I hear that the government is control about everything about cigar, is yes, right? Yes, yes. Uh, government company, which control from the factories farming all process of growing and producing. So mm -hmm. they are not allowed to take outside of the Cuba any leaves of Habanos. Mm -hmm. So it's strictly control. Yeah. At the moment, mm -hmm. uh, sometime I, uh, I saw uh, some other company, other manufacturer in Asia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still can uh, import the Cuban leaf. Cigar leaf that's and they roll. It's no, not no, true. No, no, that's not true. It can be any other areas of Caribbean, but non Cuban. So they can bring Nicaragua, uh, Honduras, Dominican Republic leaves, but yeah. never Cuban. Cuban officially, you are not allowed to take it out. Yeah, but not Cuban leaf. Non Cuban leaves. Oh. So many manufacturers, they try to make it uh, up for their brand that they use. Cuban leaves in their blend, but reality is not true. Mm. They are not allowed to do so. Yeah, because in in Vietnam, sometimes I I can see a lot of behike, a lot of sick uh, law, yeah, koheba sick law. But when I when I try, yeah, I I'm I'm not feeling like uh, yeah the same quality. Be be careful. The quality in Vietnam, uh, we always say to the customer. So yeah. always suggested to go to the official stores. Yeah. Like, for example, La Casa del Habano, it's official house of Cuban cigar. Mm. First in Vietnam. Yeah. First in Vietnam that uh, even we have a strong support of government, of the, the embassy, that, that's yeah. their culture, part of their culture of Cuban. And this is what they are proud of. And this is really one of the unique product. Cuban cigars, the Habano cigar has to be produced 100% inside the Cuba, mm -hmm. has to be with specific quality control standards, has to be uh, made by professionals and going through the strict uh, full stages of quality control. Even when they are getting out to the export and we are bringing it here, we have a full control everywhere that cigars keeps in the right uh, conditions, yeah. temperature, humidity, yes. because only by this you can preserve the best of their taste yeah how you can enjoy the final product yeah so it's Thế very important <cười> đây là một cái điều mà tôi muốn chia sẻ tới cho quý vị khán giả nhà to là vì thế bởi vì là thực sự là trên thị trường chúng ta sẽ rất là khó để kiểm soát về về nguồn gốc xuất xứ cũng như là cái chất lượng ví dụ như khi chúng ta vào những cái không gian như thế này thì uh, các bạn sẽ thấy là nhiệt độ đây này ở đây có một cái uh, đo nhiệt độ và độ ẩm này Đấy, độ ẩm là luôn ở trong cái mức để bảo quản 63% độ ẩm và nhiệt độ ở đây rất là lạnh chỉ có hơn 18 độ C thôi và thực sự là để những cái điếu xì gà nó được ủ ở trong những cái điều kiện nó tốt nhất thì chúng ta mới có thể thưởng thức được trọn vẹn những cái hương vị và và có thể cảm nhận nó một cách nó tốt hơn và chúng ta sẽ thấy là được những cái sự khác biệt giữa những cái điếu xì gà khác nhau Golden Phoenix Stamp it means this cigar is officially entered to the ah. country and checked, double checked quality by wow. our team. Wow. So every box in our stores has to have GPH, a Golden Phoenix stamp. Oh, so uh, if we buy in around the world, we uh, uh, still need that? Every, every area around the world has huh? uh, their uh, local distributor assigned by Habanos. Mm -hmm. For example, in uh, in Europe, they have their own distributors. Oh. In in Vietnam, assigned by Habanos, you have Golden Phoenix. That's mm -hmm. an official importer 
of Havana cigars. Mm. That's the only official import. Đây anh anh quay phim anh quay uh, rõ mm-hmm. thật là kỹ cái cái tem này này. Đấy để cho quý vị khán giả có thể hình dung nhá là chúng ta mua xì gà thì luôn luôn phải check là xem là có cái tem này hay không. Genuine guarantee. Đấy. Get closer yeah. maybe. This is the La Casa del Habano exclusive. Yeah. Is it your tem? Yeah, no, no, it's it's uh, made by Habanos, but uh-huh. that's exclusive line and a special shape, not available in the regular line of Hoya de Monterey. Mm. Uh, that it would be displayed only in official stores of La Casa del Habano around the world. Ah. Because yeah. you have uh, 100, 154 La Casa del Habano open around the world. Mm-hmm. So this brand created by Cuban, Uh, to have a destination for cigar smokers who wants to enjoy the good quality Cuban cigars. So you have a franchise worldwide uh, where all cigar smokers, when they want to have a good smoke, they go blindly to La Casa del Habano, anywhere yeah. they are. Yeah. So you have available in 52 countries and Vietnam has one first official. We are open since one year yeah, and we are a, proud a so much. Sell. Sometime when I uh, go to uh, Europe, mm-hmm. I, uh, I went to uh, some cigar store and I asked them about uh, Cuban cigar. And at the moment, uh, even in Western country, they, they didn't have uh, enough Cuba, Cuban cigar for everyone. And yeah. That's true. That's true because, uh, as you know, Habanos, it's totally handmade. And uh, during the world crisis, when COVID came, Habanos reduced their their capacity of manufacturing. So from 100, they reduced 70%. So from the volume, what they were making before, they reduced it and they produced only 30% from what they were doing. Mm-hmm. And it takes minimum two years to get back to normal manufacturing uh, power. Yeah. The speed. So uh, speed. we still need to, to wait. <laughs> yeah. Wait, at least, but uh, two years. You, I, I can <laughs> say we have a good backup because yeah. we, we maintain our facilities and the warehouses. Yeah. But some of the, like the most cigars, what you have a high volume and our favorite bestseller cigars, yeah. we still back up our customers, so we have them in stock. But some of the cigars, you can see worldwide, we have a big shortage now. So yeah. anywhere you go, uh, very difficult to find Cuban cigars now. But in Vietnam, yeah, sometimes I, I, I can see uh, Kohi bar everywhere, yeah, everyone can smoke Kohi bar, yeah. I, mm. I, I think it's, it's fake, do you think? Yeah, yes. That's one of the biggest threats we are facing, that uh, in Vietnam, you are close to China, yeah. you have flood of the counterfeit cigars, a lot, a lot of fakes, especially on the Hanoi, from my experience, I saw many, many fakes of Cohiba. Cohiba, it's the 98% of available Cohiba on 98%? the market. 98%? Is, yeah, so is fake. How can we uh, recognize what is uh, true Good and question. what is fake? First of all, so. you look always at the box, at the packaging. Yeah. And another thing, you need to look at the cigar itself, at cigar and the band, because the band is the most uh, difficult to fake it, because they do the hologram. You can have it on touch as well. Ah. And you have uh, also the, the embossing, So it means when you feel it, yeah. it has to be out a little bit. So you feel it on touch. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not flat? Yes, yeah. it has oh, to be yeah. out a little bit. Okay. So usually uh, when they are faking, they're printing it low quality or they're trying to do kind of hologram, but it's not similar to the original one. Yeah. So we'll take one of the limited edition of Cohiba cigars. Cohiba Talisman. Talisman. That's a limited yeah. edition 2017. Yeah. So here you can see clearly the all marks of distinction. Mm-hmm. So how to identify real from the fake. First of all, on em- embossed details, printing. This is Habanos DOP stamp. Mm-hmm. Every, every box living Cuba 
has to have Habanos DOP stamp, mm. denomination of origin Habanos, and Cuba government stamp. Yeah. This is a kind of serial number, unique code assigned to every box. Yeah. You are able to go to habanos.com, authenticity check, and to input this unique ah, code. Ah, we can Im input that and, and to check. check authenticity. Ah. Right. So, and also oh. you have uh, kind of laser printing, it's special on touch and has some also hidden serial codes yeah. and hologram on the top. Yeah. So you can see that a uh, limited edition 2017. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, can, can, can you show me uh, the back? Yes. Yeah, the back. So here yeah. you have uh, Habanos SA, Hecho and Cuba, Totalmente a Mano. And this is the code of the factory and manufacturing date. Wow. And it also has to be embossed, like it's hot stamp. Ah, the embossed, not print? Yes, not print. And all the details, even the box, has to be smooth, has to be uh, made with details. So whenever you see something lousy made box, not mm -hmm. well polished, with weird quality and color uh, stamps so yeah. it means it's this box can be suspicious immediately so we'll take one of the cigars yeah you see you can have all the holograms clearly yeah. and even you have the indian taino head yes. of cohiba mm -hmm. it has like inside the head another head you can see yeah, the okay, 3D I, hologram. Yeah. You see this unique uh, twist? By hand, yeah. Yeah, that's, hand. they call it pigtail. Yeah. That's unique for the Trinidad brand, uh, some of the classic line of Cohiba, yeah. and Bihiki, mm. Bihiki line. So beautiful cigar. So that's how you check the authenticity. And of course, whenever you select your cigar when you choose your cigar yeah of course you have to like the color you have to like uh, the appearance of cigar mm -hmm. how, how is the look of the wrapper has to be uh, not cracked has to be shiny smooth wrapper mm -hmm. that's the outer leaf mm -hmm. and of course uh, by size the preferences of the strength of cigar you like it more lighter you like it more medium or more fuller body cigar depend on the time of the day when you enjoy as well and with which pairing it goes mm -hmm. so for example you are going to smoke it at daytime or even morning cigar or you can have it for the late night enjoyment mm. and of course the smell from the food so it has to be a nice aroma of the cold draw and after that we are going to light and enjoy our cigar in yeah. the one lounge. more question yes. one more question yes i uh so uh how about the the quality control in uh cuban cigar because sometimes uh when i uh smoke in the same box but uh, sometimes i feeling uh have uh, one or two sticks is not the same quality Yes, that's a very good and very common question between all cigar smokers. Because every cigar is unique. It's made by hand. Yeah. Sometimes you can say 99% cigar is good, but you have 1% of the human mistake. Yeah. Because sometimes roller got tired. Sometimes <laughs> he put too much pressure. He yeah. thinks something like some something not good happen in his family and he feel not the cigar he didn't yeah. properly roll it so yeah. we always say that this is totally handmade and that's a beautiful about cigar that every cigar has its own uniqueness yeah. sometimes you have a little bit darker color sometimes you have lighter color it's a natural product yeah. so sometimes just unlucky <laughs> yeah so it means you are unlucky but don't get too much upset you yeah. still can save it yeah. because if you have a tight cigar, usually you check the tightness by mm. pressing yeah. in, in the uh, bent area. So yeah. the cigar shouldn't be too hard and shouldn't be too soft. 
if you have some little bit tight cigar, you need to age them longer. Mm -hmm. So it means you need to yeah. have your humidor where you can age them. With aging, the draw becoming better. Yeah. So do not destroy, do not throw cigars. Yeah. <laughs> you still age them and they can open up the draw by slightly massaging it, yeah. moving the leaves between and just let it rest in the box. The it box will open it. up yeah. more and, and the white. draw will be Yes, you need to right. be patient. Yeah. Yes, about cigars, uh, you need to be patient. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. Okay, chúng ta đã có rất là nhiều những cái thông tin rất là thú vị đúng không ạ? Còn bây giờ thì chắc là sẽ nhờ bạn Daria sẽ mang một ít những cái điếu xì gà này lên và chúng ta sẽ cùng thưởng thức và nói chuyện thêm những cái câu chuyện thú vị khác về xì gà. Đấy, nhưng mà chúng ta sẽ hẹn gặp nhau ở một số tiếp theo sau cái tập ngày hôm nay để chúng ta sẽ cùng tìm hiểu thêm về xì gà và các bạn hãy nhớ đừng quên like, subscribe, chia sẻ video clip của nhà to và hy vọng rằng là các bạn cũng sẽ yêu thích cái video clip ngày hôm nay và à, xin chào và hẹn gặp lại các bạn trong clip tiếp theo yeah, bye bye